Hey guys, what's going on? I uh, wanted to do a quick video on this TP-Link ER605, which is a kind of an entry-level, basic, uh, Omada-equipped router. Uh, they're multi-WAN, so you can reassign a LAN port to a WAN port and have multiple internet connections coming in. Uh, this gives the router the ability to do load balancing on both connections or failover and failover is done via a rule so in a true failover situation if the rule is set up correctly what should happen is the WAN which is my AT&T fiber when it is up the backup WAN which is LAN 1 here which is a 5G metered connection this should show down and no IP addresses. The router itself should completely disable that LAN port. Um, and that is, in my mind, I thought the developers did that to, uh, you know, if it was a metered connection for the backup and in a failover situation, you wouldn't be using data. And that is exactly what we're seeing here. Uh, if you go under transmission and load balancing, enable load balancing, that needs to be renamed. It's been this way for years. That should say enable load balancing or failover. And then it should have a note saying that failover is achieved by creating a link backup rule. So your rule for that situation would be your primary WAN is your WAN or whichever you choose, your backup WAN, set that, and it fails over when any primary fails, because you can do multi, you can do more than one WAN, uh, more than one WAN, uh, more than two WANs, or fail over when all. I've tried both of these, neither make a difference. So this is what enables failover. And if I understand it correctly, this is what enables true load balancing. So that's the thing. What I'm seeing here is if you look in the traffic statistics, it's not using much data, but it's constantly using data on the backup 5G connection. And my goal here is to have no data being used. Uh, and that is because we have clients with POS systems and small businesses and they have shifty internet so we want the POS to be able to do transactions all day and not batch at the end of the day and this is you know the scenario should work and I've had a couple of guys tell me oh no it's doing exactly what it's supposed to do not true okay and I'm going to prove that now so let me switch my cables over and again let me point out that the link is up on both of these, okay, both WAN, WAN ports, okay? Keep that in mind. We're going to see something different shortly. So other than that, online detection, and you'll notice uh, also that even though the status shows, oops, the status shows both links are up and online, the online detection shows that the 5G is offline. That's something else that's not working right, and it's in auto mode. So uh, now let me move my cables over to a different router, and we'll talk about that one here in a sec. Let that pop back up. Okay, it's identifying, it has an IP, so let's do that. So now we are going to be logging into a TP-Link TLR600 VPN. And I believe this is kind of the previous model of the ER605. Uh, the 600 does not have a USB slash WAN port and it does not have OMADA capabilities. So 
you're probably already noticing something a little different here. My AT&T fiber link is up and my backup 5G connection is down. They are both plugged in right now. Okay. So they're both active. They both have the same settings, but it's treating it totally different on this model. Okay. It is doing true failover according to the rule. And that is to use all, you only use the backup when the primary is down. And we can go into this load balancing is enabled. These are disabled. Same backup, uh, backup rule. And online offline, which I would expect to see because the router itself has disabled the secondary LAN port based on my rule. So that's auto. Okay. So that's what I'm seeing here is that the 605, the ER605 does not behave the way the 600 did. And I totally expect the 605 to behave this way. I believe that it, the 605 is not uh, following the rule that's set. I think it's just using it willy nilly whenever it wants. And uh, I've had, you know, I've, I've seen articles where they say, oh, it's because your uh, primary WAN is unstable. That is not the case. Otherwise, this one would be doing it too. Um, this guy said, uh, this is for more for load balancing, but he said, uh, check the WAN settings bandwidth. The router will prefer to use the faster WAN according to the bandwidth number you put in. So on the 605, I did go in and adjust the up and downstream bandwidth down to uh, a very low number. And I was able to get it to use less data on the 5G, but not stop it altogether. And it choked the connection. So that was not a viable uh, option. Uh, and I don't want it to use any data, you know, because the, these devices we use are OptConnect and there are a couple of gigs a month for, I think, 20 bucks. You want to keep that usage down on these. Uh, we only want them to be used when they need to be used. So, yeah, what's up, TP-Link? Uh, I think you might want to look into this. Uh, let me do a little demo here. Uh, let me unplug my primary WAN my fiber connection and let's give this a few seconds to ping out and it will detect it and you'll see these links flip uh, the primary will become down and the backup 5g will go up let's go ahead and look at traffic by the way so 704 bytes total and that is because it just used that because it flipped these. You see. So now in the traffic traffic statistics, I expect it to be using this this data here. You know, on the backup one. So uh, yeah. So now let me plug the primary one back in. And we'll see these revert. And I believe when it goes back out of failover mode, it puts the WAN one back up. And then the, yeah. So the backup takes another cycle to go down. Uh, but if we look at traffic statistics and clear this, we'll see. Let me replay this uh, YouTube video up here. Get some data rolling. Yeah, you'll see it doesn't use any data. And we'll come back and look at this here in a second. But you'll notice it's back up and down as we expect. So, yeah, again, this one was keeping uh, the uh, 605. That's what I'm showing now. Uh, this was keeping them both up all the time and using data. 600 does not behave that way. And we can go back to traffic, nothing's being used. And I'm playing a uh, YouTube video in, you know, in HD, so it's uh, 
using quite a bit of data. Uh, yeah, so I think TP Link needs to address this, eh? So for the time being, I'm going back to 600s for this situation, and uh, we'll continue to use those until, uh, you know, they get the Omada ER605s up, up, up and running like they should be. So I'm going to post the link to this video in TP Link's forums, and hopefully we'll get a response, see what's going on. All right, guys, y'all take care.